In this video, we're going to talk about cochlear implants. Now, cochlear implants are basically a surgical, it's a surgical procedure that attempts to restore some degree of hearing, of the ability to hear, to individuals that have something known as sensory neural hearing loss. And this is otherwise known as nerve deafness. So let's talk about sensory, sensory neural hearing loss real quick. So normally what we have is we have sound waves coming in, they hit the ear, and then they travel through this auditory canal, cause the eardrum to vibrate back and forth. And this vibration causes these three little bones in the middle ear to vibrate back and forth. And eventually fluid moves back and forth in the cochlea. And that fluid movement gets stimulates hair cells that then produce an electrical signal that gets sent to the brain. Now in individuals with sensory neural hearing loss, this conversion over here basically does not work. So there's a problem with conduction. And this can be surgically treated with something known as a cochlear implant. And we'll, let me just write that down. So a cochlear implant. So let's talk about a cochlear implant. Let's just look at the different components of the cochlear implant. So this implant part, which is what I'm highlighting right here, is known as a receiver receiver. And then from the receiver extends this long kind of tube that goes all the way into the cochlea and turns around like that. And this tube is known as a stimulator. Stimulator. Now, what is the receiver doing? It's receiving information from this little structure right here. And this is known as a transmitter. So the transmitter. And the transmitter is getting electrical uh, information from this thing that I'm highlighting now, which is known as a speech processor. Speech processor. The speech processor basically gets information through this little opening, which is the microphone. So as sound waves come in, they hit the microphone and the microphone takes the sound waves, converts them into an electrical impulse which then gets sent to the transmitter, which you can see it's, um, on, it's outside of the um, individual's skull. And the transmitter sends that information to the receiver, which is inside, it's implanted inside the patient's skull. Then the receiver sends the information through the stimulator into the cochlea, and then the cochlea converts that electrical impulse into a neural impulse that goes down the auditory nerve into the brain in order for that sound wave to be processed. Um, and so basically this effectively restores some degree of hearing to individuals with nerve deafness.